three three minute rounds to find out who will be fighting Shakyapov of Kazakhstan in the final. We're underway in the blue corner, Mohamed Fisi of Algeria. David Rodriguez is fighting out of the red corner for Costa Rica. And he's making history today. A stumble there early on. The Costa Rican, the first ever Costa Rican in a semi final. And that guarantees him bronze no matter what happens here. Well, talk about carrying the hopes of a nation on your shoulders, as we've just seen Birjan Zhakiapov dominate his semi-final bout. We have David Rodriguez from Costa Rica. And as mentioned by Colin, the first ever Costa Rican fighter to take a medal. Part of the AIBA Boxing Nations Development Programme bringing on boxing nations that don't have a strong representation. Rodriguez, to get this far, well, in itself a real achievement. But between a rock and a hard place because his opponent, Mohamed Flisi. Flisi, very able fighter, very strong, tall for his body weight, but just look at the power in those punches. Flisi, an orthodox boxer, but he just packs a powerful left hand. And he's starting to really take control of this bout. And in the first round, Fleecy starting to dominate and control. Well, the referee there just saying, uh, watch the back of the head in the clinch. Fleecy definitely uh, going into fifth gear here. He's thrown a lot more punches, gets through the guard there. Well, Rodriguez having his work cut out in terms of finding a strategy for Fleecy. Fleecy very relaxed, very fluid. We've not seen a demonstration yet of continuous combinations, but the power that Fleecy is able to get into the single shots, well, incredible. And already we're starting to see the face of Rodriguez glow red. Great left hand there, made a good solid connection. Rodriguez trying to get inside that long jab of Fleecy. He's the shorter fighter, the shorter reach. Just look at the response from Fleecy. Goes on to the back foot deep in his stance, comes forward with the right hand first. And just look at him go now. The power, the upsurge of controlled aggression. Well, that's it, uh, end of round number one, and they go back to their corners. No doubt the coaches uh, have plenty to say to them. Well, Fleecy seemed to be in control there for uh, most of it. That was just a little bit of a trip early on, uh, no real worry, but it showed the intent of Fleecy. Absolutely, and those shots were well within the scope of judges being able to score in his favour, which we'll find out. They were heavy, they were hard, they were on target. Here are the judges' scores then. Uh, all three judges see it. 9-10 in favour of Fleecy of Algeria. And that, that's exactly how we saw it too. A fair result. Rodriguez was very game. He certainly couldn't do score at 10-8, which uh, would be in the uh, judges' speak known as dominance, total dominance for 10-7. And uh, to score a match 10-6, it has to be a complete overmatch. So David Rodriguez uh, of Costa Rica in red. Mohamed Fleecy boxing out of the blue corner for Algeria. Fleecy, a double national champion. Before this tournament, he came off the back of a very good win in the Mediterranean Games, took a gold medal there. A lot of talent, and this is an emerging name in Aiba, certainly one to watch. And just look at that left hand, keeping the range exactly where he wants Rodriguez to be. Rodriguez has to come inside 
in order to make any impact. But when he does, he gets punished. Fleecy, a great array of techniques in the armory. Good shot from Rodriguez, but he gets punished by Fleecy. So having made the commitment to get on the inside, Rodriguez probably lands two shots to Fleecy's possible three. Just over halfway through this round. And uh, the dominance from Fleecy now becoming apparent. No lack of heart from Rodriguez, but Fleecy definitely in the driving seat. Judges just having a word about the closeness of heads, which of course is a focus now from referees because they don't want to see an accidental clash. Fleecy working that left-right combination, and it's an absolutely scathing combination of punches. The left really flicks out hard and fast, but that right comes in thundering. I was just warned there by the judge uh, not to punch the back of the head. Costa Rican taking advantage of the clinch. Well, now a development. Fleecy's been caught, and uh, the left eye starting to ooze just a little bit of blood. It doesn't look serious at this stage, but it shows that Rodriguez is starting to make inroads. Referee calls for a doctor to have a look at this, or is it just a referee to clean up? No, the doctor's having a look. Well, as always, it's not a great thing to see about end with this type of injury, especially when a fighter has an advantage. But the body language of Rodriguez says it all. This could be the reversal of momentum that <laughs> the Costa Rican fighter needed. They fight on, but Rodriguez is ready to go. Well, we have uh, just over 15 seconds of this second round, and then the Algerian will get a chance to go back to his corner and hopefully a little bit of treatment for that cut because uh, the way we're seeing it at the moment, he, the judges saw it too. The first round was definitely Fleecy's, and right now it's probably Fleecy's too, though the Costa Rican has found a lot of heart there uh, and a strut indeed in his step. Well, let's see if we can uh, see where this cut occurred. I'm guessing it might have been in one of the clinches. Well, Rodriguez powers forwards. He knows he's got the work to do in the round. Fleece still relaxed, still in control, but we can see that the side of the glove from Rodriguez catches that eye of Fleece. And the body language said it all during the break. Rodriguez really sees a chance here now. Back in touch with a possible win here. But well, here you go. It's 9-10 uh, across the board from the judges, so 18-20. All three judges in favor of Fleecy at the moment, and Rodriguez is going to have to come out charging. And something tells me he will do. His body language in the corner of the ring, he's pumped full of confidence, he's ready to go. A world championship place in the final at stake here, and Fleecy now is going to have to work that jab, work that distance advantage, try and keep Rodriguez at bay. And, uh, well, he's been sent back to his corner, a little too much uh, Vaseline on the eye there. Judge isn't happy, rather the referee isn't happy with the, uh, the head of Fleecy. There we go. We're underway. A final three-minute round here to decide who goes through to the final in the men's light flyweight. Now, at this level, a fighter will be concentrating on the bout that he's involved in. But there must be one part of Fleecy's mindset that's worried about possibly going through to the final, carrying a serious injury in the semis here. But the action, fierce, and Rodriguez up for the task, but gets punished on the way in. Fleecy just waiting, working the counter. Big punches from Fleecy. Rodriguez has to drive it. Has to close that distance. And really, the tactical advantage for Rodriguez would be to try and work the eye of Fleecy to see if he can force a stoppage. Whether he can get on target, whether he can land that kind of shot, I don't know. He's exposed when he comes in, and Fleecy shows that with that work. Big shots coming in, not only to the head, but to the midsection as well.
slips beautifully under that left hook of Rodriguez. Fleecy still on fire here. He's just got to avoid the clash of heads there. He's got to protect that eye because, of course, if Fleecy gets through, and it looks like he will do to the final, he's only got 24 hours before he'll be fighting again, and any cut in the world needs at least seven days to recover fully. Well, a great left there from Rodriguez. Caught Fleecy, changing direction. And again, that left hand proving a problem for Fleecy at this stage, and I think it's because he's moving away from the... The, the eye that's been damaged. Getting caught on that lateral movement by Rodriguez. But under a minute left in this round now, and Rodriguez still has the work to do, but fatigue starting to set in. Well, I'm not sure who was to blame there, whether it was Felicia or Rodriguez. Uh, I think it was a bit of both there, pulling each other to the ground. So, 45 seconds left on the clock. We're underway again in round three. Well, they've absolutely been at full throttle during this bout. It's been so exciting, and they're starting to show signs of fatigue, but I expect they're going to start to really rev up and put the foot to the floor in terms of gas. Coming up now, less than half a minute. This is going to be crucial for Rodriguez. Well, it was arguable there whether he got clubbed to the ground or not. The referee sees it as uh, just a trip. No standing eight count, and we move on. No problem from the eye of Fleecy at this stage still, so that's boding well. Well, in the final few seconds, he's been incredibly game, Rodriguez. It's been a magnificent bout, and uh, the blood now pouring from the eye of Fleecy. He will have 24 hours, actually uh, just less than 24 hours, to get himself uh, prepared for the final. Rodriguez was very game well. Absolutely, right up until the wire, Rodriguez brought the pressure. Buoyed on, of course, by that possible tangible stoppage result, which he couldn't quite bring about. Fleecy, ever so mobile, and forever fleet of foot, fast with the hands, kept out of trouble, and still managed to score. So, how do the judges see it? Our referee from Ireland calls them into the middle. Who will be joining Shakyapov of Kazakhstan in the final of the men's life flyweights? <laughs> Rodriguez raises his hand gamely, but in the end, it's the Algerian Mohamed Fleecy who was the class act there. Once again, it is straight uh, rounds for a fighter through to the final, and Shakyapov against Fleecy will be a classic tomorrow.